Okay, we're okay, on. Okay, cool. Right, well this is exciting. Yeah! So we're going to do, this is our first ever unboxing video. I know. Apparently this is all the rage, this we should be exciting. doing this all the time. Well we did a video, didn't we, um, a few weeks back now about car seats for the van. Yes, and um, we had a couple of comments. We had some interesting um, dialogues with some folks, which was great actually. It was really helpful. Yeah. And it made us have a little bit of a think about the car seats that we use for the kids. Um, you can probably hear our dog snoring outside. <laughs> I'll apologise now. She, she's a snorer. She's a snorer. Um, so you kind of took those those comments and had a bit of a think, didn't you, darling? And yeah. um, did some research. And this being, is this is what we've ended up with. Being a dad uh, and being a bit of a safety geek, having a safe car seat is really a top priority, as it should be for any parent, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but we found out the car seats we were using, they had a witch rating of about 20%, which is pretty awful. So yeah. we had a hunt around, we joined Witch, uh, it's quite a useful website. I don't really feel like I should have to pay £10 a month to get a good parent rating, so I'm probably not going to carry on with that, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we, we've done lots of research into it. What we found is to get a high back booster seat for kids of our age, and to have that portability and lightweightness, it's difficult to get a really high safety yeah. rating and have a mix of everything. There's so we've had some compromises along the way. Yeah. But I think what we learned was that um, we didn't have to compromise as much as we were compromising with yeah. the other seats that we had. And um, so yeah, so we definitely felt like a, an upgrade was probably warranted. We, you know, we had those seats a really long time, and obviously technology moves on. So we were happy to um, to take on board that feedback, and now it's an exciting day. Yes. Yay! So it's like it's like Christmas has arrived yes. in uh, in our household. So here we have the high fold bifold car seat. It's supposed to be it's the most portable high back booster seat on the market apparently. It's a transformer. It is a transformer. <laughs> it goes up to apparently when they're twelve years old. The witch rating is about I think it's about 50 60 percent. So it's still not absolutely amazing, but it's a lot better than what we did have. Yeah. And it really ticks the box of being portable, compact, easy yeah. to store when we're mm -hmm. camping. It's not going to take up loads of room. Right. So yeah, so we, we, we thought it would be a good shout. Let's do it. Okay, Let's so I'm going to, it's, it's taped up, so I'm going to just do this here without stabbing anyone. Careful, Daddy. Okay, Ivy. Careful. Right, watch your head. Oh. Right, watch yourself, Eden. That's my daughter okay. mine on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ugh. What do we have in the box? Ta-da! Alright, let's turn this around. All oh, the dogs come in to see what's going on in it. Oh, wow. And here okay. we have a carrier case. Ah. It's always a good sign when you see a carrier case. Yeah. It means it's Look at that. It's like a backpack. That is cool, isn't That's it? Cool. Should we open it up? It's in there. No, no, it's, it's in here, babe. So look at that, girls. Your car seat. What fit in there? What fit in there? We have got two, but we're only going to show you one because it's pointless yeah. showing two. Uh, so there's the, uh, there's the, the backpack. Case. I'm going to put that Amazing. down there for now. So then I'm going to move this guy out here and I shall move the box out the way. No. This is our car seat. <laughs> so what do we think? First impressions when we take the bag off. What do we think? It's quite lightweight, isn't it? It's very, it is very compact. It doesn't even look like a car seat, does it? It's no. like all folded up into its travel uh, format. Can we unfold it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, so first thing to say, there is a safety clip here, a buckle, yeah. which keeps it all in place, which is a really good design. Yeah. And that is hooked on the bottom. You can see that there. There's two clips keeping it in place. Yeah. Got the safety ratings on the bottom there and instructions of how it works. Which we're going to need to read. <laughs> Will I follow those? Probably not. And then uh, there's a whole other instruction manual which is actually clipped onto this clip right here. Yeah, should, be good. should we? I want to open it. Should we do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to open it. Okay, you do it. Okay, so I'm guessing this should... is going to fold out. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, so oh, this oh, is oh. like the headrest. And then so you if you guys can see, up. but this is, yeah, so that's looking good, Eden. Ah. Oh wow! Oh, and then this is it. going to be the back. Oh wait, wait, wait! We've got a strap here. Okay. There's a strap at the back. I guess this is for tethering around the back of a chair if you want to. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay, I can see. So this is going to look. Like, there's a little this clip, is flip into clip there. right here. This is going to go into this little. So what do you think? Here. We, what does this do first? I think that might be to adjust the height. Okay, so if we go like that, nice. Lovely. And then Good action. look at this. Yeah, it's clear. That is super slick. Wow. Can I try it? Can I try it? 
Yeah, we're not going to sit you on the table, are we? <laughs> yeah. so, so we're going to try on our journey, yeah. How do, how do we you have to back? click, just like... No, I'm just thinking it's a bit bendy at the back here. Does uh, that go in better? I don't know, maybe it's just... Maybe you press that A, maybe you press that A. So there's a, right, this is, there's a bit of flex here. I haven't looked at the instructions, probably should have done that, but yeah. I'm hoping that's not going to stay at that, because that doesn't feel quite right. Or maybe it's a design feature, I could be wrong. Or so maybe it's supposed to be a rocking chair. No, it's not a rocking chair, honey. It might just be... Um, Let's have a look, shall we? It's very okay, cool. Seat back adjuster knob. Okay, so oh, look at that. Okay, so that's going to do the width. So that so there's a, a there's a disc on the back here, and that makes this these side panels uh, extend or contract. Oh, that's cool because that'll be good for me. Yeah. So that's you can make it smaller it or wider depending on your size of the child. It's supposed to go all the way around. I think I'll be able to fit in here. Yeah. Right, so number That's one is supposed bit. to be this. That's tiny. Hang on. I don't, this here. seems really comfy. Yeah. Can we lift that up? Are we going to use it on the way to put it in. Oh yeah, that's it. There you go. No, yeah, it leans backwards. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's... Let's okay, have a bit we'll of... come back to that anyway. Right. So, here we go. This is how the, the seat sides. Fill this green tab up and they just pop out. Brilliant. And they're locked in. Mm -hmm. Pull it up again, and they go in. If you want small bump, I'm definitely going to try this. And then there's so there's a, a, well, there's a seat here. Look, there's a there's a compartment here that you lift up, Ooh. and then that's got a handle in it, which I'm guessing. Oh, oh wow! wow. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. That's gonna be mine. This that is gonna is be cool. mine. No, this is gonna be mine. So that's pretty cool. That's. What do we think? First impressions. I think it's really clever. I think it's really clever. I think, um, I'm not sure, I think we'd have to get it into the, the van. van and kind of fit it to just understand what's happening here. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it gets some of its support from the seat, the, you know, the actual car seat itself. Um, this will be easy. It's super, super clever. It's really, Definitely. yeah, I mean, this is quite flimsy. That's the only thing I say. So yeah. it must, it must just like really rest into the seat. Um, I guess that's just to give the child more flexibility. I don't yeah, know, I'll have to have a look at that yeah. thing and see how we can fit it's it into the van. But in terms of like it being compact and design and everything else, it's it's kind of awesome, really. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, we just had a bit of a Google and we found uh, a very helpful video from Highfold um, to basically investigate the flex that's in the back because we just we weren't sure about that and we wanted to make sure it wasn't broken or that we weren't doing it correctly um, it is in fact a design feature it's there because obviously different cars have different reclines when yeah. they're sat in the back so it just gives you that flexibility it's basically to, make sure to fit it's the, the right gradient of a variety yeah. of cars on the, the you know the, the seat back that's actually in the, the car itself um, so that's fine so that's what is there deliberately so that's okay um, so yeah, I think generally now I know that that's okay and safe and not a, a problem. Um, I, think, I think it's pretty it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Should we try and unfold cool. it? Yeah. So this is in its uh, position to obviously go in the car seat. So we're now we're going to try and unfold. Uh, Having just watched the video, yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. still on so the <laughs> Oh, that's gone in. Oh yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, so that goes down like that. It really is like owning your own transformer. Uh, and then I guess it's this little green. Where's it gone? There's a green tab here a minute ago. Is it underneath? I've covered it up. There we go. Put that green tab in like that. Yeah. And then these go in with the side ones. No. How do these ones go in? Yeah. yeah. Like that. Perfect. And then the clip comes round. And away we go. Let's see if it fits in the bag. Wow, that's kind of awesome. So this does mean we're going to have to redo our whole car seat video. I we're know. Have to do another one. I know. This is the thing. So we'll try them out. I think we'll try them out on this trip that we're going to do. Uh, our next trip, and then. Um, and that's then, a really good fit. Yeah, really, that's there's a little bit of space there, just in case it doesn't go down quite properly. Fits on your back. Really, really cool. That is cool, isn't it? If you've got the bag there, you could keep that in our trailer overnight, couldn't we, if we needed to, since yeah. it's not in the van? Yeah, I think it's definitely worth trying out on our next trip, and then we'll see how we get on, and then maybe do a whole separate video on, on yeah. them in situ in the van. But Brilliant. generally, 
first glance, just out of the box, I think. Yeah, really good. Pretty good. We'll probably do another video with them in the van, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Great. Cool. Hope that's been helpful. Like and subscribe. <laughs>